Be warned, this video contains coins that I think have the potential to see 100x or more during this bull market. The top performers in this bull market are not going to be coins that were in the last bull market, no. They're going to be coins that have been launching recently that are gaining huge traction, hype and attention across their communities for a variety of different reasons. In this video, I'm going to rank my top eight brand new crypto launches that I think are going to see the most explosive growth during this bull market. So without further ado, hit that like button. Let's get into today's video. Now, guys, as we all know, everybody loves a ranking chart what i'm going to do is i'm going to run through a few of these different projects and understand a bit about what it is that makes them special and what makes them pump and slightly later on i'll tell you how to get into a pre-sale one or two of the biggest now recently i've made a couple of videos talking about how you can find early launch coins that have the potential for great success looking at cryptorank.io you can go to ideos and you can look at upcoming as well as past ideos and icos and yes it gives you a massive list and i'm not going to bore you with going through all of this list today but if you want to go and find new coins and this is the best way to do it now last night i went to dinner with a bunch of other kols who have huge twitter pages huge youtube pages and we all pretty much came to the same conclusion new launches are basically launching in the right narrative with the right team and backed by some of the biggest names in crypto these vcs without fail pretty much see huge rois on their investments and that's great for us because we can also get on board with these projects as well if we can identify these key selling points now as we look at the list down below there is eight coins here two of which are yet to launch but don't worry i still think that they're going to be some of the more exciting ones going forward now a coin that is first on the list that we're going to talk about today and one that i'm sure you're aware of if you've been subscribed to my channel and that is bvm and i first started talking about bvm on this channel back down at around 3.07 cents and you can see that it's pretty much 2 x in the last kind of week or so while the entire crypto market is bleeding towards the downside that's the beauty of finding these new launch coins and if you can find the right ones at the right time then you can make the most of the new hype and excitement that's arriving there. So what is it that gets my heart beating over BVM? Well, nothing, because I don't get emotionally involved in this, but I see opportunity when it's there, right? BVM market cap, 140 million. We'll keep that in mind as we go and look at like their potential returns on some of these coins. BVM or Bitcoin Virtual Machine is basically a layer two that's built on top of Bitcoin. As we've had Bitcoin ETFs and we're now having institutions charging into crypto, they want security. Security and decentralization that isn't available across any other blockchain out there. Bitcoin is the most secure and the most decentralized, but it does come with a price. It's a little bit slow and has some issues with it. Therefore, Layer 2 is built on Bitcoin and better to solve the issue. And BVM offers you the opportunity to build decentralized applications on a Bitcoin Layer 2, which is very cool. And lots of people are identifying the BRC20 type tokens are going to see a huge push as Bitcoin gets running once more. And I know there's a few guys in the comments who are like, oh, the bull market's over. But really, when you start to see that, we're ready probably for a turnaround sooner rather than later. And since the BRC20 narrative is coming in next, I'm pretty confident that this is the first one we should be talking about today. Now, where do I see it going? Remember, $120 million market cap. And I think that that whole ecosystem, the brand new ecosystem, sees huge room for growth. And whilst there are other BRC20 tokens around that area, BBM's seeing really strong growth during this period of time and decline across other cryptos gives me the confidence that this really could be an absolutely monster project going forward. I'm going to be bold enough to say that I think a 50x has the potential to happen that does take a valuation up to around six billion dollars which is not small by any means but it's one of the ones i'm willing to bet on it's one of my biggest bags and i think i can see a good push coming from this one so we're next zeus network another coin that i'm very excited about bitcoin to solana made seamless solana right now has crazy crazy volume it's outstripping ethereum every single day on the amount of transactional volume but as this Bitcoin ecosystem continues to grow and the variety of different platforms available on that Bitcoin ecosystem are growing, we're now looking to bridge across two of the monster players, Bitcoin and Solana. Now, as we come down through, you can find out all the details, but there's a few faces and a few names on here that are worth paying attention to beyond anything else. Because let's be honest, guys, as much as you love the tech and you love all these different things and you're told how important that tech is and how things are going to grow, there's one thing and one thing alone that grows projects more than anything else out there and it is hype community and excitement and few things get communities more pumped and excited than big names and big easy to understand narratives 
And here you can see it, angel investors here. We've got the co-founder of Solana, the co-founder of Stacks, and the founder of Mechanism Capital, Andrew Kang. Some of the biggest names in crypto, okay? Come down below, you see who they're backed by. OKX, Animoca Brands, Animoca Ventures, Spartan. You know, these names get people pumped. They get people excited. And this is very, very key. And they know this, okay? That's why they're putting these people on their page down here rather than even talking about their team. They're talking about who the backers are because they know how key this is to drive a project forward in success. It encourages scaling of applications across two of the biggest ecosystems in crypto and two of the ecosystems that are growing the hardest right now. And you can't really go too wrong with that. And you pair that up with the market cap, which is around $117 million as we speak, with a huge volume of nearly a third of the entire market cap, which is very very positive especially when the markets are pretty quiet then things look quite exciting and you'll be like oh well it's down 10 percent today even better okay and i right now i see people in the free telegram group which is linked down below being like i hate pullbacks pullbacks are the worst there's guys you have really no reason to think that what you should be doing as i've always been saying is to keep some money on the side so that if the market dips towards the downside you now get another chance it means that your end stage profitability has the potential to be even bigger the market just goes up in a straight line then you're not really going to have the opportunity to be able to DCA in, to be able to buy the dips and all this. This is where the money is really made and how you can turn your potential 20x of your portfolio into a 30, 40, maybe even a 50x. And that's what we're looking to do on these pullbacks. So don't get too scared off when the markets are dipping like this. This is where the opportunity lies. I can see Zeus has a midlife for many days. It has a fairly early kind of pullback. When you see VCs, etc. selling off, it starts to try and push again. It gets sold off as the market dips. Now, what we need to do on a chart that looks like this to find some form of a decent entry is to maybe dip down to a four hour rather than a daily. Why? Because it gives us more detail. Now, what we're looking for, guys, is buy zones. You can see that this is a big area where we saw lots of buying going on for Zeus. You can see that there's more kind of big buys and stuff going on in this area here. So, although this might be a bit untidy, you can draw your box underneath this area at which Zeus was clearly good value to big money. Big money caused Zeus to basically double in value from current valuations. It caused about $100 million worth of market cap to be added in just four or five days from this area. You, you see the price gets back into here again, or sort of goes below and then pushes higher. Right now, you're starting to see this area again picking up. Zeus Network, this area, in my opinion, of course, not financial advice, do your own research. Looks good, okay? Looks good. Can't go too far wrong with it. Where do I think it's going to go? Well, guys, anyone's guess, but it's got the right names, the right backers, the right potential for building more partnerships and having news and all these good things coming out. The community pumping, the community currently at 165K, but still growing all the time. You know, I think this is one to definitely watch, okay? Now, I want to push towards sort of 20X. I know I probably left a big gap between 50X and 20X, but I think that, you know, 50X is reasonable. A project like this has real potential to go into the multi-billions of dollars. Once Bitcoin starts to move again, we then get towards an altcoin season. This is where I think we're going to see some of the most hyped and excited growth. Now, let's rattle through another couple of other coins here because, you know, we haven't got all day. I know you're busy. This one, Chrono Forge, 410,000 followers on Twitter. Multi action RPG game built on Immutable. Now, what I like about this is you come down through, you can see that the engagement on this is absolutely incredible. And the other games I cover on this are pretty much the same story. Now, you can see they've basically been running NFTs and other things like that. And the gameplay itself looks pretty exciting. As you can see, play and earn starting soon. It hasn't even begun yet, which is good because we have potential for a big launch of things going forward. Right now, you can see that they've been minting NFTs for the season pass, and then eventually they'll start to release tokens and things like that. So this is a project that is not available yet and will be launching soon. So we pay attention to when these projects launch. We're expecting to see a good pullback after launch and then we'll find entries. And if you're subscribed, I'll tell you when I'm getting into coins like this. Bit of a no-brainer, to be honest. Now, as you come down through, website looking good, gets people's attention, things going on. Obviously, Immutable X, a very successful ecosystem and will continue to drive projects that are built around it. The backers are absolutely crazy. Some of the biggest names across crypto gaming and things like that. Uh, and you can find out lots more details and information on this. Where I see it going right now, it's difficult because I'm not sure exactly what it's going to launch at. Okay, I would say probably somewhere between 20 and 30x is on the card. Next up is Planet Mojo, one that I've been paying attention to over the last couple of weeks, because again, this is a very interesting one. They've been huge, huge community already. And then coming over to their website, you can see that they've basically been nominated for some of the best strategy games, which is important means they've got a decent game that's actually working and people like to play it you can come down through 
You can find out all about the kind of upcoming roadmaps. Huge team, lots of detail, Animoca Brands, the key name that we're looking for when we're looking at gaming, to be honest. And then you can go and look at the gameplay and find out more. This is a very cool looking game. Now, why am I so bullish on this is actually not because of the website and all that, but it's more the chart. Because this is a chart that scares many people. And this is one thing to consider. When you see a new launch, VCs, etc., were buying in down here. When the new launch happens, they all release as much as they can of new tokens that they hold. Usually they're locked in, okay, but if they have like a 10% TGE or whatever, they will try and sell their coins on the way up. Why? Because it did like a 92x on the launch price, which was absolutely crazy. So obviously if you made 92x, you had 10% to sell, you're going to sell your 10% and 92x because you're still then at a 9x of your original investment and you've now got 90% in the token for the rest of the time. You can see what happens. The price slides and goes lower and lower and lower. What do we then get? An area of interest where you can see these big candles spring from. These big candles spring from an area here. Just draw a box under the candles. Don't need to mess around too much. You can see what happens. The price gets back down into this green box and right this second is starting to boom again, okay? broken this descending wedge maybe this looks like a good one and coming across to coin market cap the market cap currently sits at 6.2 million dollars which is absolutely tiny this for me makes it very exciting exchange wise i don't really like the exchanges it's listed on you can see it's got buy bit fine bigger volume 1.6 million dollars going through it the volume is absolutely crazy like 2.3 million dollars on a 6.3 million dollar market cap okay so mojo looking a very interesting Uniswap, high price impact. Yeah, don't use Uniswap. Look at the volumes, guys. If you're using Uniswap and the volume is like $1,000, it's going to cost you an absolute fortune to try and buy this coin on a decentralized exchange. Therefore, you need to use some of these here. I've actually got Bing X, which is down below in the description. If you want to get access to this coin, it's available on Bing X. Uh, there's other exchanges available. Go and find out whatever you want, right? But there's a $6.2 million market cap. How do I think this is going to go? Well, I want to say that if I can see 100x coming out of any of these projects, something that's sub 10 mil with the backers like it has, with the kind of community behind it like it has in the working game, Mojo looks really pretty decent. Okay, pretty tidy. Obviously, you know, go away and do your own research. I don't favor any of these coins over any others. I'm not sponsored by any of these coins. I'm not working with any of these coins. Have a look. What's the next one on the cards? Now, this is probably something that I don't normally do, and I'm going to go down the route of meme coins. Now, and why do I want to go down the route of meme coins? Because there's clearly patterns with certain memes that have the potential to get going. Also, I've met a lot of people at Crypto Token 2049, which is where I'm at at the moment in Dubai, who are all investing in Foxy. Okay, these are all big KOLs who have big audiences and they've all been buying into Foxy. Why? Because it's on Linear. Linear is a big ecosystem that's going to be going live this year. And like, because we've seen Base blow up, we've seen Brett blow up on Base. I think Foxy is the Linear equivalent. And that's why I've got my eye on this project. And it did have a pretty successful launch, did back down again, gives us a nice opportunity. Meme coins, again, you can't go wrong with massive followings, especially when you pair that with a smaller market cap. Market cap currently sat $37.4 million, looking pretty healthy. If you're going to look at a chart, it's got a good setup as well. So Foxy, as you can see, is dipping back down. Do I know whether or not Foxy continues to dip? Absolutely not. But what I see here is quite healthy looking in my opinion that we have our downtrend we see an area where we're getting some buying going on we dip a little bit underneath and then we put this position out let's just compare this to bvm which did something very similar just a few weeks ago here you can see bvm gets its initial sell-off like this and in my opinion this is literally where foxy sits okay foxy is sat there right now does this guarantee that this is happening absolutely not but it's a good coin it's in a good ecosystem Consensus is behind Linear. Consensus is behind Metamask. Consensus is built by some of the original founders of Ethereum. This is a huge potential play that I'm very interested in. 60 mil market cap. Can't get too upset with that. If we look at how the other memes go, maybe, just maybe, Foxy has another 50x, maybe even 100x. If he does 100x, I think that'll be phenomenal. Who knows? Now on to the next one before we look at two projects that are up and coming that haven't yet launched. Gaming. Now, these last three, in fact, I kind of want to talk about together. I want to talk about gaming. And I want to talk about Aether together. Aether, you'll be aware, hasn't launched yet. We'll be launching next month. We do have a pre-sale running this weekend. Right now, we've got an Aether node sale at a heavily discounted price. And I'll tell you how you can get into that in just a moment. Now, having met the team from Aether and a few others over the last few days, you'll understand that the whole kind of cloud compute space, we've had a cash blow up, you had render blow up have done really well off the narrative that cloud compute is very important. 
but there's a very big difference between what Aether does and what gaming and render and Akash and everyone else does. Because the demand in this space is enormous, but it's not a general demand for compute power. I want to think about something that is driving a lot of the development of AI and deep in projects and why we've been seeing so much success from them recently. AI scaling issues. AI, as I'm sure you're aware, is pretty much the fastest growing industry ever. You've got ChatGPT that got to 100 million users in just two months last year. You can see that the anticipated spend by 2030 is going to be $1.7 trillion, which is absolutely ludicrous. And you can see that the whole AI system is going to continue to grow. 98% of businesses who are questioned want to implement more and more AI systems, AI agents. And what you need to drive that is large language models like ChatGPT. Like Claude, my good friend who I use for a lot of my crypto research. That's Claude.ai, guys. Go and check it out. But there's a problem. To drive AI language models or learning models is extremely difficult and extremely expensive and extremely demanding on compute power. The average computer, like my computer and yours, doesn't have the capability for large language model training. Only NVIDIA H100 chips and above have this capability, enterprise grade GPUs. Therefore, when we look at this demand curve and we hear that compute requirements for AI are increasing by 10X every 18 months, that means we need to focus towards projects that have cloud compute capability that is geared specifically for enterprise grade. If you put that together with the fact that Aether has been running one of the most successful launches over the last month or so with the node sale, which has taken place last month, where they sold like $120 million of nodes in about three hours. And I'm gonna teach you how you can buy some more if you so wish. They've grown to around 390,000 followers, which is absolutely astronomical. It's one of the most hyped and excited projects I've seen that hasn't even gone live yet. And in terms of its launch price, I think it's going to launch with a market cap of around $1.7 billion, which is bloody high. Okay, it's very high, but the industry is a growth industry. I still think that Aether has an ability to do a 20, maybe even a 30x going forward. And more importantly, I know the team are already locked in on a vesting schedule, which sees that they don't get any tokens released until 36 months have gone by. And the VCs, etc., are locked in for decent vesting as well. This is a project that I can see good, healthy, steady growth from once it actually goes live in May. And as you can see, looking into my Discord, which is linked down below, we are literally running an Aether node sale right now. Now, people were buying nodes at tier 20, tier 30 over the last few weeks. We now have nodes available at tier 14, and you're going to be able to run those nodes from the end of the week. Be able to win rewards from the supply. These nodes work with a valuation of Aether that is sub $1 billion, which means that you have an opportunity to get in at a significantly lower price than that $1.7 billion market cap tag. Now, these nodes I expect to sell out in the next sort of 12 hours or so. But in addition to this node sale, we also have a $1 million, that's right, $1 million Aether pre-sale round that's going to go live on Saturday. You can enter into that and there's no requirement to stake coins like on launchpads or anything like that. You can literally go down below, pay 20 bucks a month, join the inner circle and you can join that Aether sale, which is going to be around 40% discount on the actual launch price. And you're going to be able to get into that link down below in the description. No one else out there has access to giving you and the ability to enter into a round right now. I was actually on a boat two days ago and there was a VCs fighting over the small allocations that are left. Fortunately, we've gotten in with the team. We have the ability to run the sale. If you want to enter, get to the Discord down below. You can also access trading signals. You can also access weekly sales for various other coins. We had gaming, we had portal, we had others. If you want to get into pre-sales at massive discounts where you can see huge multiples on your returns and investment, go to the link down below in the circle. So yeah, Aether sits in here. Now gaming again had a really exciting launch. Lots of people got very excited about it because it ticked that narrative of the kind of the deep in compute stuff. Everyone really liked it. AI gaming crossovers. Okay, there you are. Gaming AI deep in. What three bigger words are there in crypto right now? And this kind of got a lot of excitement and attention, but they still appear to be ill-equipped to be able to work with large AI enterprise-grade projects or projects demanding enterprise-grade compute, okay? So that's what I'm kind of concerned a little bit about with gaming, although gaming I still think is going to have a good run because retail will get behind it. Okay? Because retail, I us, like kind of simplified projects. We like to understand like kind of key big words, gaming, AI, deep in, all sounds really good to us. Uh, good team, you know, lots of things going on. There was people talking about it. It seems to have got a lot of attention and I think it will continue. But the volume is definitely dying. $1.4 million against a $57, $58 million market cap. Here's all the different exchanges you can get it on. So go and take a look if you so wish. But what makes me a little bit more bullish on gaming compared to what I've been talking about? Excuse my messy chart. Because as you can see, I don't prepare very well for videos. Uh, you can see a big sell-off that comes from gaming. We get the slow demise down towards the bottom. 
eventually I'm looking for an area where we start to see buying coming in. How do I start to see buying? Here's a big wick towards the downside. We start to see kind of more wicks. We start to see buying pressure coming out. Now, is it ready to go? I don't know. Eventually, I feel that gaming is going to have a pop uh, and it's going to break. And what we're looking for is it to break that trend. Using tradingview.com, I can make this a line. I can right click the line and I can add an alert. Okay. This is going to tell me that if gaming breaks this line, maybe I've got a decent opportunity uh, for a buy zone or whatever, if I so wish. Okay. Buy zone for uh, gaming. I can hit enter. Then if that hits, breaks the line, I may be in. Okay. You can wait. Maybe it breaks the line, comes back for a retest and it finds support. That would be a good entry as well. That's basically how you find a good entry after these decent pullbacks. Too easy. Okay. Too easy. $57 million market cap right now. Gaming. I think 20x is reasonable. But, you know, 20x takes to a billion dollars, maybe goes to $2 billion. I would say maybe somewhere in between here, but let's just leave it around here because I don't think it's quite at the level of the world's just above it. Now, the last but not least is Sofon. Now, I want to talk about Sofon because Sofon is going to be the project. It's like the next Aether. Okay, they just partnered up with Aether. Everyone is going to be talking about Sofon in the coming weeks. And I wanted to be the first to do it. I also will be running a Sofon node sale in the inner circle for $2 million worth of nodes next week. And those nodes aren't available to anyone yet. Okay, they're going to be at a discount as well on the node sales that you're going to see every other influencer talking about in the next one or two weeks. So if you want access to Sofon nodes, then go to the link down below. Now, if you come across to Sofon, you can see it's extremely new. January 2024 came alive. It's followed by Beam because it's part of the Beam ecosystem, which is very, very key. Has some big backers, and I'll show you the pitch deck in a minute because the website itself isn't even offering any details right now. It's managed to climb to 86,000 followers since a January launch. You can see they've just have an alliance with Beam and Aether Cloud. This is huge for what could be happening for this project. So I'll share with you the pitch deck for Sofon. Entertainment-focused modular layer 2 ZK Sync Hyperchain. Benefiting from collaboration with Beam and Merit Circle. Merit Circle, one of the biggest funding platforms. Okay, again, bringing together artificial intelligence, check. Gaming, check. Okay, these are very key names. They're going to have been possible who ran the Aether node sale. And Aether node sale was obviously very successful. I'm sure Sofon will be the most talked about project in the coming few weeks because everyone's going to get behind it. You can see who they're backed by here. And you can see in order of their pitch deck, what they value is the most important thing is to be telling to investors. And this is what we should be paying attention to as well. Angel investors, Luca Nett, big name on big influence and name. There's also other huge names like Pentoshi uh, and Seb and a few others as well. You can see there's going to be 200,000 nodes sold and 20% of the overall valuation of the product will be then distributed to amongst different node holders. Aether was around 15%. Now, people run nodes to give decentralization for the network. It also incentivizes the users to be part of the system. It's all working through a proof of authority algorithm, which is a new breakthrough. And this is probably why they've been able to garner a lot of attention. Now, I would like to bring you more details on SOF, and I will continue to do that once I learn more. Come across through here. You can find out more about the tokenomics uh, and just sort of screenshot everything I'm talking about. Again, you know, look at the teams, guys. Pentoshi, I believe, has got like four or 500,000 followers on Twitter. Pretty handy good advisors coming from Aether, all sorts of other places. Uh, and then you can come and find out more about this. You can see it's hitting the key narrative here, ZK Sync, ZK EVM. And also looking into what ZK Stack is, when you see keywords like modular blockchains and things like that, I think that's also going to be really powerful. ZK powered layer twos, layer threes, and lots of other things. So really exciting potentials going forward. Now, obviously, guys, nothing I've said on here is financial advice. I want to just say that so far, I think it's probably going to launch again with high market cap. But if you're able to get into the node sale through our Discord and maybe, just maybe, we might be able to get ourselves a token sale where we can get a massive production on price, then you have the opportunity to maybe see 50Xs from projects like this. But I think 20X is probably fairly safe, fairly reasonable. Seems the top pick from here is Planet Mojo. I would say, to be honest, my own personal favorites, BVM sits in there. Uh, I do hold some Zeus Network. I'm probably going to get myself some Foxy right now. Uh, and I do anticipate owning a bit of Aether and things going forward. Things are looking healthy. Now, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Something slightly different, slightly bigger and longer than normal. Sorry about that, but hopefully you found some good value. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video.